If you have an old shower or tub, there's a good chance over time that you're going to get a big crack or chip in it. I'm sure this was from something from one of our boys uh, dropping something on it, but uh, it could happen from about any reason. So today I'm going to show you how to fix this. At our local hardware store we found this shower and tub repair kit. You can find different brands. Uh, they usually come with some kind of a putty, a liquid hardener, and fortunately with this one it comes with some sandpaper and a mixing stick to make this a little bit easier. So let's begin. You need to make sure you clean this hole very good. I get a little alcohol swab. Make sure you go all around the outside of the hole so that anything that touches the outside will adhere to it very well. I right, take your the putty or paste, whatever you want to call it, and you want to pull out a good bit, probably about you know, half the jar maybe. You want to get some of this liquid hardener. It's probably going to be sealed, so you're going to have to take something sharp and poke a little hole in it. Be very careful because you don't want this to, to pour out. You just want it to barely be able to drip. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have a very limited amount of time to work with this, so you need to start mixing it together then, immediately. Alright, once you get it all mixed together, it's time to start applying. Make sure you get it down in all the crevices. Once you can make sure it's all down in all the holes there, you want to make sure this is built up a little bit on the outside because this will shrink so you want to make sure that it, it's sticking out because we're going to be sanding all this down later to make it even make sure you work with this fast because this stuff can harden up quickly and you cannot work with it once it is two to three hours later you can come back and you can check as you can see here it is nice and hard so it is time to use some sandpaper and start sanding this down Be prepared that hand sanding this will take a while. You have to do it over and over and over till it's smooth. Once you get it all sanded down, it's going to be very close, smooth across the surface, best you can. Now the color may not be exactly matching your other um, plastic here, but it'll be close enough. Especially when you look back here, saw that hole before, you don't see anything. Right now it's time, if your kit comes with it, like this one does, it has like a little polishing uh, you add to it, and you add to it, finish it up with this, and then you're done. It may not be perfect, but it is a lot better.